Hello YouTube, uh, you join me today for a beer review. Um, when I first started doing these beer reviews I was actually training for a half marathon which I didn't make the team to do the half marathon run so um, I ended up just doing beer reviews whenever I liked but originally I started doing beer reviews after a training session so I've just got back from the gym I'm going to try and get back into the system of I only get beer when I've worked hard for it so I've got some pizza in the oven and I'm going to crack myself open Badger's Golden Glory. People asked me to do a review of a Badger beer. Um, I did do a review of a Badger beer, but I thought I'd do another before I get on to some really nice beers. I hope they're really nice, I have no idea. that have been brought to me from Switzerland um, by a friend of mine, linked to his channel below. Um, there will maybe be some videos featuring me and him. Um, we did a pub crawl, I'm not sure how much video is usable. Um, but yeah, this is Badger's Golden Glory. Um, I've tried this before, it's really nice, really quite fruity and light. It describes itself as gloriously peachy, and I would definitely agree with that. I've had um, a peach beer at the Fat Cat in Norwich, if anyone knows it. This one is uh, apparently also, it's not made with peach, but it tastes very peachy. In colour, it is a lovely light gold. It develops a good head very quickly. I'm just going to try it. On the nose, really is. Smells like fizzy peaches if you've ever had that sweet. Really is. On the tongue, it's not quite as fruity, which is a good thing. I don't want it to be an alka pop. It's refreshing. It's not got that much of a bitter, hoppy flavour to it, which is good if you're not into your strong hops or if you're just starting out someone into real ales. But it does still have the... the beeriness of a beer, if you know what I mean. Um, the just crisp bitter to it. And then it is very sweet. It's light, it's very drinkable. It's 4.5% by volume, so it's quite strong as well for some a beer that is as light as it feels. Um, and I'd really recommend it. So, yeah. It's good stuff. It's half the taste goes very quickly, which is good. And I'm about to have it with uh, just pizza, goat's cheese pizza. Um, but on the whole, I'd say it would go with many, many kinds of food. Best of all, I think, though, it would be on its own, quite cold for real ale. I would say you could have this quite cold and not lose much of the flavour because it's quite um, smooth and consistent. So you could have it sort of as cold as five degrees, sort of in in the fridge rather than like, I prefer my beers sort of about eight to twelve ish, you know, cellar temperature rather than. And anyway, that that's a different discussion for a different time. This is just meant to be a quick review while my pizza cooks, and it should be done now. So thanks very much, YouTube. Goodbye.